<laughs> hey everybody, this is LVA Hutura, the Fancy Action Now, and this is Bethesda's Arbageddon. The arbitration avalanche that will bury them in requests for refunds of which they will have to deal with them individually and based on the law firm that's handling this case will force them will force them to address these issues on mass and escape their efforts to mitigate a class action lawsuit. That is the new legal trend for the last decade, is getting away from class actions. The last bastion of, of the people's ability to hold evil, corporate greed accountable and to alleviate some of the tremendous harm that's being done to our people from the chemicals industry, uh, Monsanto, the pharmaceutical industry, you name it, and video games, of course. The last bastion where people can gather together, usually 10 or more, and bring a case to a judge to say, these people are doing harm in our community. We have been wronged as a group. They're not just harming one, they're harming many. And they need to be held accountable and they need to pay us. They need to make us whole for the damages they've done and punitive damages to ensure that they don't do this to anybody else. And Bethesda thought that they had an impenetrable, impenetrable fortress of legal ease in their terms of service that you consent to. See, when you sign these terms of service that say you waive your right to this, and you waive your right to this, and you must submit to arbitration, etc., etc., when you do that, you're consenting to be abused by these fools, by these avaricious corporate pirates. But they've taken it to such an extreme level that enough people and a worthy law firm, people give lawyers a bad name, but man, when you're wronged and you don't know how to hold these people accountable, a lawyer can be your best friend, your white knight, for reals. I've had attorneys resolve many problems with companies and individuals who did not want to act right or act appropriately or ethically in this world. And I was successful each and every time, at the very least, get it making them go away. So these people, I believe, will be extremely successful. There's a couple, there's some couple recent uh, updates on this that are just outrageous outrageous and with your indulgence I would like to read a little bit of this this is an article by CJ published January 30 2019 law firm calls action against Bethesda and Fallout 76 Arbageddon I love it they branded that we're gonna bring a new precedent for these companies that try to escape the class action. That's what happens. You still commit the abuse, another solution is gonna come back around no matter how you try to escape it. They made their terms of service on purpose set up to remove you, the customer's right for recourse, for refunds, for abuse of, of your time, your money, your sensibilities, for God's sakes. There, it allows them to false advertise. It allows them to give you a half-baked, defective product for the money of a legitimate product, unless you want to go through, unless you want to go through a very tedious arbitration process. 
But what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to arbitrate this process individually for every single applicant. If you have bought this game and you have wanted a refund or you feel that you were you were cheated by this game, which is pretty much every single customer, then you need to get a hold of uh, Migliaccio and Rathid LLP. They are your white knight. And they are going to drop a logic bomb on Bethesda. Bethesda is living in a fantasy world of their own creation, ironically enough. And they are not a Dreamora. <laughs> okay, here we go. As if Fallout 76 Rocky Start hasn't been enough for Bethesda, law firm Miglaccio and uh, Rathid LLP yesterday stated that they are pressing on with legal action against the company in spite of the arbitration agreement in Fallout 76 multiplayer. You can throw out any agreement, a prenup, a postnup, any agreement where the other party is not operating in good faith, doesn't matter what you've signed off. Now you might not always win, but you can bring any case. If you've signed off and said, yeah, you know, I agree to you beating the crap out of me, and somebody beats the crap out of you, and you get some injuries, you're injured from that, you didn't expect to be injured, you can take them to court. You can still take them to court. They might not be allowed to be, they might not be arrested because you granted your consent, but you can take them to civil court and say, wow, it was excessive. It was more than I thought. It was misrepresented. That's a terrible example, but there you go. Mc Migliaccio and Rathod explained that a slim majority of the United States Supreme Court has permitted corporations to deprive customers of their day in court, especially with respect to class action claims. That's why every lawyer will tell you, do not sign these terms of services. Do not sign that waiver at the uh, bungee jump. Do not sign the waiver uh, uh, at the jet ski. Get buy your own jet ski and get some insurance and enjoy jet skiing. Your, all your rights are intact at that point. But when you go, and, and I'm saying, I'm not saying don't enjoy your life, and I'm not saying don't have fun, but every lawyer I've ever talked to says, never sign your rights away. Never sign a waiver. If you have to sign a waiver, you don't wanna do it. That means they've been sued many times before for injury. And now they have to protect themselves from being sued, otherwise they can no longer do business. That is the unfair, now I've, have I signed waivers? Yeah. Again, again, if you have a kid and you go do anything, everybody wants a waiver. Everybody wants a waiver. So I have to pick and choose what I, what I say. Sometimes I say no, so I'm like, no, uh-uh. But when you sign waivers, you're signing your rights for recourse away if anything should happen. Just be aware of that. When you sign and you agree to these terms of service and terms of use, if you actually read through some of them, I have, you're giving away rights. You're giving away your, 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 your legitimate recourse, which you always have until you sign it away. But even so, you can still, if it's egregious, you can still take somebody to court if it means that much to you. Okay. Especially with respect to class action claims by inserting dubious arbitration clauses that users agree to by clicking through until they can get to playing. So it's kind of a walled garden. It's the red pill, blue pill. You're forced into making a choice. There is no third option or I don't want to play the game. By preventing class actions, corporations can make it economically impossible for individuals to vindicate their rights for claims that concern only a relatively small amount of money, the firm stated. Right. So Fallout 76, whether it's 200 bucks for the collector's edition or it's you know 60 bucks for the game, for 60 bucks, people are gonna grumble, they'll complain, they may personally boycott the company, but they're, they're not gonna to go to a lawyer that gets $300 an hour and say, hey, these people shafted me out of 60 bucks. Even the lawyer's gonna go, let it go. Yeah, unless you're, unless, unless this is like a, a passion case. And that's what happens sometimes, the financial motivation is tossed out 
when it is so egregious. It's like, I don't care if it's expensive. I want these people not to be able to hurt others ever again. This is a mission. Once you get people to that point, bro, settle. Now Bethesda are hardly uh, the only culprit at such cases threatened to become, okay, yeah. By preventing class actions, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, okay. Now Bethesda are hardly the only culprit at such cases threatened to become wider practices in some other industries, e.g. In fact, much of Meglaccio's and Rathod's renewed vigor has to do with the case of Epic Systems Corp versus Lewis. The aforementioned case, which by the way, isn't, isn't about Epic Games, but a health care software company, ultimately failed after which Judge Ruth Bader Ginsburg stated, the court today holds enforceable this arm twisted, take it or leave it contracts, including the provisions requiring employees to litigate wage and hours claim only one by one. Federal labor law does not count in such isolation of employees. Migli Migliaccio and Rathed wrote, Bethesda probably thought it could refuse to refund its customers. And that's what it's been doing. With the glitches in the system, oops! They've made glitches and bugs the, their, their, their main product. <laughs> Bethesda probably thought it could refuse to refund its customers because of the use of multiplayer game requires players to click through an arbitration agreement so most players, except for potentially those in California who are at least protected, cannot take the company to court in a class action. Unfortunately for Bethesda. Now what you say? Migliaccio and Rathid aren't quitting and have announced Arbageddon as they'll pursue individual arbitrations. They have sent Bethesda countless letters, and according to the company's own arbitration deal, they have 26 days to respond. If they fail to do so, the full weight of Arbageddon will be upon them, the firm warned, as it plans to proceed with hundreds of arbitrations and potentially file class action lawsuits in California. What do you want to bet there's some people in California who've purchased the game? What do you want to bet there's at least 10 or more? What do you want to bet they'll go ahead and file that class action lawsuit in California that protects its own residents from this type of deceptive business practice? God, that's one thing we got to copy California on in this country. You can find them here. You can find uh, their warning here. Let's go check out their warning. <laughs> okay, here we go, kids. This is from the law firm themselves. In recent years, a slim majority of the United States Supreme Court has permitted blah, 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 blah. Uh, as background, Bethesda Game Studios released video game Fallout 76 in November of 2018 which it had marked for months as a premium game that consumers had to pay a premium price to, play, to pay. The consumer has paid their money. Unfortunately, when the game was released, technical er errors severely compromised playability, and the game was at best more akin to an early beta that no one would have paid full price for. That's the whole case right there in one sentence. Consumers demanded refunds in droves, but Bethesda refused. The consumers came to us. Bethesda probably thought it could refuse to refund customers because use of the multiplayer game, blah, 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 arbitration. We are undeterred. I love it. I love this, 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 uh, this legal, this legal group. And are prepared to pursue individual cases and arbitration for all aggrieved U.S. purchasers. Oof. Sounds like justice. Along with a class action for California users, if Bethesda does not make things right, we recently sent hundreds. Now they have to do, I mean, again, they have to address hundreds of these arbitration requests within 26 days. They better have a floor full of lawyers because they're gonna need every paralegal that they can muster to go through and address them. And they should address them en masse and instantaneously. Day two, they should be resolved. They, 
Again, if you're smart and you get to this point and people are like, I don't care if it's 60 bucks, I'm getting with you, 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 and all of us together, and we're gonna teach these people a lesson not to cheat us. When you get into that like zealot vibe going, dude, settle, settle. People that are this angry, tireless. Uh-huh, we will pursue hundreds. Yeah, there you go. And of course you've got the response, take him down, I want my money back. Y'all need to, okay. Oh, this one guy saying, get over it. <laughs> and then another one's, get over it. Get them, they're awful, and drag them through the mud. Woo, that's what I'm telling you. Once you get people to this level, get pay the money. I don't care if you gotta like restructure, close the corporation and rebrand, reopen under a different name. You know, th this is this is just brutal, man. This is brutal. It's, I've never seen some self-inflicted crap like this in my life. And then the other story, which should be its own video, but I'll just throw it in here. It's just like, it's like, it's like this is now my career is, uh, is uh, games journalism, all I need is Bethesda, EA, and Activision, and my whole 2019 is booked. I can just do videos on those three companies. Unbelievable, unbelievable. Bear with me. <laughs>